Hello, my dear friends. Good to see you again. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna practice. American English File, Second Edition, Book One, Workbook. This is Part 12B. I've never been there. Okay, the first exercise. Present perfect or simple past? What's present perfect? Yes, something that happened in the past, but we don't know when. It's not a specific. And simple past, something that happened in the past and finished. Okay, so the first part, complete the dialogues with the correct form of the verbs in the parentheses. For example, number one, have you been on a vacation recently? Yes, we have been. All right, this is on you. And part B, complete the sentences with gone or been. What was the difference? I will tell you again. All right. Now stop the video, take your time, and do it. Very well. Now let's do it together. All right, number one. Have you been on, on vacation recently? Yes, we have. We went to the beach in July. Right, number two. When did your brother buy his motorcycle? Last week. My parents paid for it. Right, number three. Have you met your sister's new roommate? Yes, I met her at a party last month. Number four. Have you been to New York or New York? Yes, I went there last year. Number five. Have your parents ever given you an expensive present? Yes, I got a car for my last birthday. Fair enough. And number six. Why did he send his wife some flowers yesterday? Because he had forgotten their anniversary. He had forgotten their anniversary. Very good. Now, been and gone. Everybody pay attention. Has Claire gone home? She isn't at her desk. All right. So when you go somewhere and you stay there, all right, you have gone there. But when you come back, you have been there. Look, have you ever been to Disneyland? Number three, my sister isn't here because she's gone for a walk and she's still walking. She has gone for a walk, all right, and she's still walking. Very good. Number four, my neighbors are away because they have gone on a vacation, all right? Number five, you look tan. Have you been to the beach? Very good. Number six, it's late, so the children have gone to bed. Number seven, the refrigerator is full because we have been shopping. All right. Number eight, have you ever been to an Indian restaurant? And number nine, my best friend has never been abroad. And number 10, Jane's parents are out. They've gone to the supermarket. Well done. You did very good, but that's the start. Okay, pronunciation. Circle the word with a different vowel sound. All right. What's vowel? I E A O U. All right. Okay, circle. All right, everybody. Now I want you to listen and check. All right. File 12B. Pronunciation B. One. Fish. Given. Written. Seen. Driven. Two. Saw. Walk. Call. Ball. Last. Three. Egg. Left. Heard. Said. Sent. Four. Up. Come. Done. Drunk. Got. Five. Train. Taken. Made. Read. Paid. 
Six. Phone. Broken. Known. Lost. Spoken. Okay. Now these are the answers, everyone. For example, fish, given, written, driven, seen. That's a different sound. All right. Next one. Saw, ah, uh, walk, call, ball, last, ah. Uh. Different. Egg. Left, set, sent, heard. Right? Or up, up. Come, done, drunk, got. Right? Train, taken, made, paid, read. Read is the different sound. Or phone. Broken, known, spoken, lost. Lost is the different sound. Well done, everyone. Very nice. Let's move on. And now, more irregular past participles. Everybody, complete the chart. All right? Write the simple past form, past participle of these irregular verbs in the chart. All right? And for part B, complete the sentences with the past participle from the chart in A. So you use these verbs to complete the sentences. Okay, everybody? You have all the time in the world. Stop the video and do it. All right. Now check your answers with your partner. All right. As always, let's do it together. Buy, bought, bought. Drink, drank, drunk. Find, found, found. Give, gave, given. Have, had, had. Hear, heard, heard. No, new, known. Lose, lost, lost. Make, made, made. Meet, Mets, Mets, pay, paid, paid, send, sent, sent, spend, spent, spent, think, thought, thought, win, won, won. All right. Now let's uh, complete the sentences. I'm going to be late. I've lost the car keys. Number two. Have you ever had long hair? Number three. Debbie and Fernando have bought a new house number four kenji can't go out because he's spent all his money number five my parents have never heard of maroon five number six you've made a lot of mixed mistakes number seven she's found some money in the streets and number eight he's drunk a lot of water today because it's so hot well done just like what we did in the student book, the main book, right? Okay, bear with me. We're not done yet. Here we are, everybody. Now, look at the text. What is it? Uh-huh. It's an email from Jessica to Brianna, all right? So what is the subject? Hi from the U.S. Southwest. All right, very good. Now, we have two exercises here. First, read the email. Check the places Jessica has been to. Arizona, California, Colorado, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas. Now read the email again. Where did Jessica see performers? Visit the museum. Have a relaxing time. Take a long walk. See animals. Okay, everybody? So take your time. Read the email and answer the questions. This is on you. I'm waiting. Three days later. All right, as always, let me read the email for you. Dear Brianna, when you write an email, you start your email, your informal email with like this. Dear Brianna, dear John, thanks for your email telling me all the news from home. I'm glad everyone is well and that you are not missing me too much. Hmm. We're more than halfway through our trip around the U.S. Southwest and we're having a great time. We have stayed in four states so far, and now we're in Colorado. We spent three days in San Diego, California, where, where we walked on, a, on the three-mile-long Mission Beach boardwalk along the ocean. From San Diego, we drove to Las Vegas, Nevada, where we spent two days seeing the sights. We even saw a show by Cirque du Soleil, an amazing live music performing and the circus show. In 
one of the last weeks make us as many theaters. Our next stop was Phoenix, Arizona, which we found too hot. It was over 100 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. The best part of our visit was the Musical Instrument Museum, which has musical instruments from all over the world. From Phoenix, we drove to Santa Fe, New Mexico, where we decided to relax and enjoy a spa. My favorite. The weather was so hot in Santa Fe, but not as hot as Phoenix. We wanted to stay longer, but it was time for us to drive to Colorado, and now here we are in Denver. Denver is a beautiful place with a lot of tall modern buildings. We've been to Dun Denver Zoo today, but unfortunately it rained. Just our luck. We have one more day in Denver, and then we are going to drive to Tulsa. We haven't been to Oklahoma or Texas yet, so we're looking forward to the last part of our trip. I'll write again when we get to Austin. Until then, take care and give my love to mom and dad. Love, Joanna. So, which places has Jessica been to? Alright, Arizona, California, Colorado, New Mexico. Alright, part B. Where did Jessica see performers? Nevada. Where did Jessica visit the museum? Arizona. Where did Jessica have a relaxing time? The spa. New Mexico. Where did Jessica take a long walk? California. And where did Jessica see animals? Colorado. Well done. You did very good. The last part. Listening. So, listen to four speakers talking about different places they have been to. Where did they go? When? So, speaker one, speaker two, speaker three, speaker four. Where did they go and when? Fill in the blanks. Let's do it. Ready? Go. File 12B. Listening. Speaker one. Have you ever been to Africa? Yes, I have. I've been to Kenya. When did you go? I went in 2010. We stayed with some friends who are living in Nairobi. While we were there, we went on a trip to Tsavo East, which is an enormous national park. Unfortunately, our car broke down in the park and the guards took six hours to rescue us. It was really scary. Speaker 2 Have you ever been to South America? Yes, I have. I've been to Brazil. When did you go? I went there in 2006 on a business trip. In fact, we were at a conference, so it wasn't very hard work. We stayed in a five-star hotel, and the company paid for everything. Speaker 3 Have you ever been to Australia? Well, I haven't been to Australia, but I've been to New Zealand. When did you go? I went with my wife when we got married in 2011. We stayed in a luxury apartment on the banks of Lake Wakatipu, and we had a great time doing a lot of different water sports. The best moment for me, though, was when we did a bungee jump from the Kawara Bridge. It was really exciting. Speaker 4 Have you ever been to Asia? Yes, I have. I've been to Thailand. When did you go? I went with my family in 2006. We stayed in a special hotel in the jungle, and we slept in a tree house. But the most amazing part of our trip happened when we visited Bangkok. We were lucky enough to be there for Songkran, the Thai New Year, so we saw the water festival. You know, the one where everybody throws water at each other in the street? Okay, check your answers with your partner. All right, these are the answers. All right, very nice. Now, I want you to listen again. Who did extreme sport? Who, who was in a dangerous situation? Who took part in a local celebration? And who wasn't on vacation? A speaker, okay? Right, one, two, three, four. Write it, all right? Let's do it. File 12B. Listening. Speaker 1. 
Have you ever been to Africa? Yes, I have. I've been to Kenya. When did you go? I went in 2010. We stayed with some friends who are living in Nairobi. While we were there, we went on a trip to Tsavo East, which is an enormous national park. Unfortunately, our car broke down in the park and the guards took six hours to rescue us. It was really scary. Speaker 2 Have you ever been to South America? Yes, I have. I've been to Brazil. When did you go? I went there in 2006 on a business trip. In fact, we were at a conference, so it wasn't very hard work. We stayed in a five-star hotel, and the company paid for everything. Speaker 3 Have you ever been to Australia? Well, I haven't been to Australia, but I've been to New Zealand. When did you go? I went with my wife when we got married in 2011. We stayed in a luxury apartment on the banks of Lake Wakatipu, and we had a great time doing a lot of different water sports. The best moment for me, though, was when we did a bungee jump from the Kawaro Bridge. It was really exciting. Speaker 4 Have you ever been to Asia? Yes, I have. I've been to Thailand. When did you go? I went with my family in 2006. We stayed in a special hotel in the jungle and we slept in a tree house. But the most amazing part of our trip happened when we visited Bangkok. We were lucky enough to be there for Songkran, the Thai New Year, so we saw the water festival. You know, the one where everybody throws water at each other in the street? Okay, very good. So, check your answers again. These are the answers. Now, these are some words that you can use recently. Recently, romantic. Romantic, let's forget it. Let's forget it. TV series, TV series. Win, win, or win a cup or a medal win a cup or medal all right and that's the practice for today thank you for watching and if you have a question you can leave it down there and i will get back to you wish you all the best and i hope to hear from you soon